I'm just going to uh, go back to the gold now for a minute. So, so we think that it will be possible in the future to manipulate some of these feedstocks to make second generation biofuel production much more cost effective, much more efficient. There are already a couple of places in the world who are doing this commercially and we think we can really improve the economics. With the work we've done already, just looking at these 850 varieties of barley, we already know that we can improve uh, the, the sugar release from the straw by at least 50% and probably by 100%, you know, fairly easily. We can see that from the data that we have already. So I think really we can make big changes in the future. And to put this in the context of the BBSSC Sustainable Bioenergy Centre, where I said there were other people working at other parts of the chain that can also be optimised, if we can optimise three or four different parts of the process, then I think we really have the potential for improving the economics dramatically. But it's not just about fuel. I've talked mainly about fuel because that's the thing that people are most aware about. But actually, the idea or the vision for the future is that you would not just make petrol from plants, but you would have a whole biorefinery uh, centered around grow growing plant feedstocks, where you would make a whole range of chemicals that we could use for plastics and adhesives and um, food additives and all of the things that we currently make from the byproducts of oil and petrol production. So again, because oil is made from plant material, plants have all the ability to make these complex chemical structures that we can use uh, and maybe we can replace oil with more biodegradable and more renewable sources for all of these other chemicals as well. And the industrial biotechnology industry is estimated to be another billion dollar industry that the UK is really very keen to expand into in the future. So this is really where the gold, I think, can come from, from our straw. And I hope I haven't spun the story too much to you tonight. <laughs>